So hey folks, uh, just before you dive into the video, don't worry, we've still got the traditional introduction, but I just wanted to let you know um, that the audio is going to be slightly different because I had a problem. Yeah, I got the blue screen of death while I was recording after the Arsenal match. Luckily, it saved everything, thankfully, thanks to Bandicam. Oh, I love Bandicam. Uh, but the audio is going to be slightly different. It's not going to be as good because I've had to use my webcam's audio and try and bolster it up. So you're going to have to deal with that for the first match. But it's def definitely worth the watch. And I'm glad I didn't, you know, have to redo it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, here we go. So welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Episode 69. All right, calm down. I know episode 69. You're all getting excited about it. And if you don't understand that, then I'm not going to say anything further about it. But anyway... We are back. We're going to be playing 20-minute matches, folks. That's right. I'm going to up the time. Doesn't matter. I'm still going to cut it down. In fact, I'm hoping this helps so you guys get more highlight chances. Obviously, I like to show a lot of my matches, whether I'm scoring, missing, whatever. Um, but we're going to do 20-minute games, which should give me more than enough time to dissect that and hopefully give you guys, you know, some interesting games. So we are going to be sticking to Legend, and hopefully we can just stay with this now because I'm, I know I'm up and down, Superstar or Legend, Superstar or Legend. But Superstar is too easy, and Legend is Legend, so <laughs> fingers crossed. Anyway, for today, I'm going to read off some comments. Uh, this is actually from the previous one. This is episode 67, because there's more comments there. So be sure you leave a comment, folks, as well as submitting your goals for Goal of the Month for this month. I don't have that many submissions, so honestly, you guys probably have a pretty good chance of getting featured if you submit it. The True Brits, G O T M, at gmail.com. If it's too big to send me the file, then upload it. Put it on Mega, put it on Mediafire, Zippy Share, whatever you guys want to, just send it to me. All right, job done. All right, so let me quickly read some of these comments here. And I do have a few things that I want to comment back on. Uh, but mainly the first ones were generally, or Timothy W said, gen uh, generally happy for you to go through the group stages. Go Everton. Yeah, that was a crazy ending to the game, to be fair. Uh, the Algerian. I've uh, rewinded that video four times, and I still didn't catch what this mod did. I don't know either. Look, I don't know. Okay, I think it just sort of made the game a bit slower. I don't know if it helps out with other things. I don't really know, okay? Don't judge me. We we're just playing with it. I think it just slows the game down and it stops the AI doing necessarily more cheating things. We might see more of it. I don't know. That's, that's my saying right now. I don't know. But there you go. Uh, let's have a look. What else do we have? Uh, Tarsin Islam said, if you had Aguero, you could have screamed, Aguero! Yeah, we could have. We could have, but we don't. Uh, we have Prince saying, watch my latest video on Ricky's TTB's wisdom on defending. So yeah, if you guys want to check out Prince's channel, I guess he's just taking stuff that I say and putting them up on his channel for a bit of fun. So a bit of a compilation of me being an absolute mong uh, for you guys if you want to check it out. Go and check it out. It's a bit of fun. Uh, your Vertuso says, your what drama? Never seen it before. Amazing. The mod seems fair, tough, but not cheating. I mean, like I said, I don't know what it's doing, but I'm going to stick with it. Uh, because if we want to get better at, at manual, folks, we're going to have to crank it up to legend anyway. Uh, and try and win. Simple as that. Sorry, my voice is going up and down. I've had a cough lately. I don't know. Got a cough. And sometimes I need a cough, but I can't quite cough. So it just sounds like I'm going... Ugh. Yeah, you guys, I'm sure you'll enjoy the, the humor. Uh, let's have a look here. Gaptooth Rubio, much better football. Rumours that this Everton might take the league. Well, we've got a long way to go, but hopefully um, we'll be able to get there. Uh, Brendan O'Hara, is there anywhere to get those Everton kits? I will post them on Twitter for you guys if I remember. These were sent over to me by Ghost over there, so big thanks to him who's been uh, sending me a lot of stuff like the stadium. I've also put the link, link for the stadium <clears throat> as well. Um, if you guys want to download that. Uh, Captain Wazel, there he is. There he is, Captain. Make sure you get in, in touch with me, mate, because you did win goal of the month for January. Uh, the referee of the second match is clearly an Everton fan, lol, but when you get a chance, you take it. Absolutely. He may have been an Everton fan, but we've had a few decisions against us. Now, this is the one I wanted to read from Liam. Liam, he's always in my channel. He's always in the comments. I don't know if he's a huge Pez fan because most of the time his comments are negative. Uh, but I'm going to read this and, and answer it for him. I'm well, not answer it because it's not really a question. But he says, the AI are, are just still crap. 
Uh, though that Spurs game, they didn't create one decent chance. How can you say Pez is a better game than FIFA? Baffling like the fact that the game is just a complete mess every year and it has to, to uh, take fans to make the gameplay better with patches is just a joke. All right, let me answer that. First of all, gameplay-wise, Pez is better than FIFA. That's my opinion, um, and it's not going to change. It, honestly, even with all the problems that Pez has right now, yes, there seems to be an issue with the collisions and the arms. The arms are, are, are the problem, I think. They've done something with the arms in the latest data pack that's causing problems with the collisions. Even with that in mind, for me, Pez is still better than FIFA. I cannot play FIFA anymore. It's just like an arcade skate fest, and um, you know, the, even the, the the planting of the feet is rubbish. And that's what I'm saying. Gameplay wise, PS Pez is better than FIFA. Not when it comes to mods. Not when it comes to gameplay modes and all that. No, it's not not mods. Modes, okay. Not when it comes to modes. I'm just saying gameplay. Whether you like that or not, we've all got an opinion. But that's my opinion. Um, when it comes to the Spurs game, that they didn't create a chance. Look, folks, understand this, okay? This is how football works. Because not every match, you're going to have a bucket load of chances. If I defend exceptionally well in a match, I'm going to stop the AI from creating too many chances. Now, that's nothing to do with the AI. That's because I'm defending better. And then there's other matches where I'm not defending as well, and they create more chances. The thing about football is it's random. It doesn't matter who you face. Aston Villa beat Liverpool 7-2 at the beginning of the season. Madness. No one would have thought that was possible. Man United won 9 nil against Southampton. Yeah, they had a man sent off. Two off after a while. Well, by the end of the match, there was two players sent off. But this is the way football works, folks. You don't know what you're going to get. So coming in here with a comment like that, I know what you're trying to say. Yeah, Spurs didn't create much. But honestly, Spurs have never been that good in pairs. And if you play well, you're going to stop the AI from creating. So every match is going to be different. I don't know what you want me to do. I can download the, the, the hardest patch in the world, but sometimes the AI will just play different. That's how it works. So, yeah, I don't know what you want me to say, Liam, but that, that's my answer to you, mate. Anything can happen in football. And look at the Wolves match. They beat me 3-2. It, it was a good game. You know, anything can happen. All right, let's have a look. Uh, for our final few here. Catalo uh, says, uh, I'll be honest, the crowds in Pez sounds like kids during lunchtime. Yeah, they're terrible. They're not great. And crowds really need to be ramped up big time. It's a shocker. Absolute shocker. Uh, this was from Chris Kendall, who was saying, yeah, he plays on Legend and the mod didn't look like it did anything. As I said, I don't know, folks. We'll stick with it. But at the moment, I'm, I'm happy with it. And if we lose the odd match, then we lose the odd match. It is what it is. All right, that's enough for today. Enough comments. We're done with it. So we're going to be diving into um, Arsenal today. Oh, it's a big, big match. But yeah, 20 minutes should give us more than enough time to create. Uh, this is the lineup we're going for. Basically, what I've done is I've gone for the highest team spirit that I can possibly get. A 97 today. Also, a little tip for you guys. If you don't know, you can actually use the right stick, the right analog stick. If you press it like that. You see the, the team changes. It doesn't auto line up for you. So if you want to find your best lineup with the best team spirit, just click R3 and the game will do it for you. Um, obviously, you don't always have to take into account. Sometimes it looks wrong, but it kind of helps you um, get the gist of what you want to play. So we are going to start Hammers today. I know there's rumors about him not being happy at Everton. He might be leaving. Oh, well, if he leaves, he leaves. But we probably will sell him, to be honest, in January time and try and pick up someone else. For the final stretch uh, and really strengthen. But that's the lineup. Tar, Godfrey, Klosterman, uh, Strakosha, Barrios, Allen, James, Shalov, Calvert Lewin, Hudson Adoy, and Kulusevsky. Luigi's down today. David's out for four days of a bruised nipple, I think he had. Uh, Mina is also down today. And then we're going to rest Kamavinga uh, and Via and Mbabu and Marlon. Marlon hasn't been doing it for me lately. I'm going for the Shalov Calvert Lewin combo. Uh, and there's Arsenal, who. I don't know how they're going to play. It could play well, could play bad. Uh, but yeah, we're going to crank this up 20 minutes. I've already done it on Cider, but just in case, uh, on Legend. So here we go, folks. I just want to play well. That's it. Concentrate, focus, and give you guys an absolute cracker. Uh, hopefully, I've changed the undershorts for the other kits as well, but we'll see. Anyway, I will see you guys at the Emirates. Here we go. So here we are at the Emirates Stadium. This is not going to be an easy game. Arsenal, normally a tough side, and uh, especially if we've cranked up the difficulty. Now, I did want to mention this. I forgot to mention it, but Luigi has got a new nickname, folks. Um, I posted this on Twitter. Absolutely hilarious. This is Pez in a nutshell. 
His new nickname is El Tedesco Volante. Okay, which this is what it means. I googled this and that is Luigi's nickname. The Flying German. Um, and that's that's my reaction to that one because Luigi's Italian. So his nickname is the Flying German, although he's Italian. I don't understand it. Uh, it's just... Oh, Pez. Pez, Pez, Pez. Konami, I don't even know what you do sometimes. But anyway, here we go. Let's get this match underway. We'll see how Arsenal start off. Uh, this is why I've basically gone for the team spirit today, because I am obviously going to be concerned with the fact that Arsenal are actually pretty solid in Pez. Not quite sure they're doing the same in the real world, but still. They have certainly got some quality about them. The ball's uh, fizzed in. Mazit Ozil, who's still at the Gunners. Lacazette, this is where you don't want to let them turn. Every time they get the ball in the on the edge of the box. Oh, look at this already. Come on, Calvert-Lewin. No, brain farting, as he always loves to do. Chambers. It looks like Arsenal going very, very attacking here. Klosterman, well done for keeping that on. Let's feed that one inside towards Hamez. Takes it away from his man. Now, Shalov, you need to make the run. Keep going. There you go. All right, get in the box now, Calvi. We're going to deliver this one in. Ah, it was a good idea. Hudson Adoy now. We need some players. Allen feeds it on the edge of the box. Hamez. Good feet, son. Unlucky. Ooh, I mean, these matches are going to be whoppers. Very, very long. But I'm just hoping if I make them 20 minutes, it's going to really be quite exciting for you guys to watch these because there's going to be more. It's going to be more of a highlight package as opposed to just sort of a whole match. But you're still going to get a good amount of uh, highlights. Right, Klosterman back towards Hamis. And I'm confident now with my passing on manual that I can play on Legend uh, and actually keep possession. It's going to be defending, that's the hard part, and trying to stop them from getting those little advantages that they often have. Although Banios is out of position now. See, this is the problem we have. Aubameyang. Watch down the right-hand side. Klosterman or should have probably, probably should have stayed with Bamiyang, but Klosterman's done exceptionally well. And now he can bring this forward. Calvert-Lewin. Well done, Calvert. Back towards Klosterman. Inside to Hamez. hudson Adoy. Which way are you going, Hudson? There you go. Skip past him easily. Allen. Back towards him. Nicely done. We've got plenty of players in there towards Shalov, who's... Missed the header, the wrong side of him. And Saka doing the roundabouts, and he's wet himself. Here's Chambers. Now we're just going to back away and, and let's see what Chambers do. Pepe, back towards Chambers. Oh, that was fortunate there, that ball when he was in. Can't let him get in that quickly. David Luiz, will he be the David Luiz that we know? You never know what you're going to get with Spiderhead. Chambers. Here is Bellerin. Ooh, beating us too easily there. Chambers again. Terrible, terrible defending. Well, lucky that... Who was that? Pepe completely missed the target. I think it was on his weaker foot as well, his right foot. I oh, know, it was Lacazette. Well, he should do better there, there shouldn't he? That's, that's a poor finish for his standards. Not good enough. I mean, we're 20 minutes in and we still really haven't had a chance, have we? This is what I mean. These matches are just so much tougher. All right, Alan. Shalov. Calvert-Lewin, oh, come on Calvi. There's a Bami Yang now, inside two chambers. Lacazette, now don't dive in on him. Don't dive in on Lacazette, that's fine. We'll let him fall on the turf. Nice touch by Hamez. Now get that into Calvert-Lewin's feet. Can he get there? No, he can't. There's a Bami Yang dropping off a bit deeper. Arsenal have had a lot of possession this half. Unsurprisingly, chance here for Chambers, but we are obviously a lot deeper now. So, yeah, we are going to kind of be in our own box, but it's better than me being caught, and we can try and... Ah, sick of those fouls being given when it isn't a foul. I mean, look, it's a good challenge there. He's won the ball, and then we're through. Well, there's a chance here for Pepe, or it's going to be David Luiz. Pepe with a go, and uh, Strakosha's run off the wrong way. It's a corner. All right, lads, defending numbers. Mr. Ozil. Who flicks it on, and it was David Luiz with a chance. All right, we can roll this out early here. We've got to get Kulisevsky involved. We're not using the, the flanks enough. We're not really using anyone because we can't get the ball very much. 
Well, now we take our time, Alan, back to uh, James. But, I mean, still, even a 97 spirit, and look how slow some of these players are. They should still be feeling much better. If they were, I could play some lovely football. But sometimes very difficult to do that when your team feels like your nan, who's 97. Alan, that's an adoy. I think I'm going to have to start dribbling more because if I don't start dribbling, we're not going to create. We're not going to push out certain players as uh, the phone's going off. Come on now. Coco Beach getting involved in the conversation here. All right, Kulisevsky, Barrios right now. This is some lovely play. Ah, you forced a pass. Had a chance there. Pepe towards David Luiz. Honestly, I could probably make these matches half an hour if it's going to be like this. It's going to be like playing a real football match. It's insane. The level of concentration is next level. I'm telling you, me playing like this now, it's going to make me a better player in the long run. As Godfrey has seen the run of hudson Odoi, and that is a fantastic pass, but Hector Bellerin is pretty quick himself. Although, well done, hudson Odoi. Chance for Calvert-Lewin, and that's a foul. He's going to give a yellow for that, watch. Pathetic. I couldn't do anything because I pressed shoot. So, Calvi goes into the book. Well, there's the possession. We've actually had more possession than Arsenal. That's nice to see. But uh, we need to create more of anything. All right, now, Godfrey, you watch the run up the line. And hudson Adoy can come across to Bellerin and then get whacked in the face. And the ball's delivered near post. And once again, Lacazette unable to hit the target. Arsenal are creating more than we are. We're not creating anything right now. I, do, I don't think James is the player that we need. When, when James is playing, I don't create enough. David, I create a lot more. I'm, I'm tempted to, the second half, honestly, take off James, put in Kulisevsky as an AMF, and then put Veer on the flank. And maybe that will help us create a little bit more, because right now there's, there's just not enough being created. And, and I think it's just James's play style. It doesn't suit us. Aubameyang, nicely done. Now this is where you don't want to let him turn and hit it. Well, you will let him turn and hit it. We'll clear it away. This could be a chance, you know, if uh, Calvert-Lewin can win the header, which he could, but Arsenal are definitely the more favourable right now about going ahead and scoring or not with a ball like that from uh, David Luiz. I was meant to, to cancel that, and then I had two minds of whether I was going to pass it or not. Oh, it's another shaky pass by the Gunners. Here is Dava Luiz, back to uh, Javi Diaz. Launches it clear, that's going to be Tars all day. Nice little header there. Allen. James. Shalov. Hit it, Calvert Lewin. What's that, a first attempt? Taken 37 minutes, and it wasn't even a real attempt. It was more of a half attempt, really, wasn't it? Go on, Godfrey, unlucky. All right, here we go. Chance, Calvert Lewin. Come on, Shalov, you're there. Right, feed this one out wide towards Kulisevsky. He'll have the legs, but we're going to have to fire this in. How's the delivery towards Calvert Lewin? And the ref's given the foul. All right, ref. Be nice if we got another penalty, wasn't it? We've had so many in the last couple of episodes. But I think that's the thing. If you're playing on a higher difficulty, you're going to get more penalties because the AI are going to be a little bit more aggressive. Anyway, we've got a chance for the set piece. I don't know if we just fire this in towards Tar. Let's do this. Let's see what we can do here. Fire it in. Try and look for the big man. The ball's flicked on. Comes back towards hudson Adoy. Tries to hit it. And that's going to be our throw, ref. No, it's not. Pathetic. Not good enough. And Saka now finds uh, Chambers. Here is Saka. Looks like he switched wings momentarily. Tar right up Lacazette's backside. We don't want to be giving him time. Hudson Adoy though does find Pepe. Allen's got the wrong side of him. Don't dive in again. Now closed and down. And that'll do nicely. And we'll take the free kick ref. Thank you very much. He gives a penalty for that. I'm turning the game off. <laughs> to be honest, I certainly am because. Yeah. It's a foul. Hudson Adoy. And we'll take that. Ref, come on now. Unbelievable. The ref couldn't give a monkeys. It just says play on. All right, Tar, you're, who are you going with? Klosterman, you're going to have to come across, mate. Tar, you need to be in the box. Saka. Tierney. Up against uh, Kulisevsky. Come on, Kulu. You should be winning that night and day. And that's going to be comfortable for Strakosha. And we're going to launch this quickly because you never know if you can catch him on the break. 
Shalov's looking for it. Fava Luis clears it away. Yeah, we're going to have to make some changes tactically here because we're not creating enough in this half. It's been a, it's been a real tough time. Arsenal have had a couple of glimpses. And, yeah, it's just not happened. It, it's just not happened. So maybe Hamlet comes off. We mix it up. We see if we can create something. Okie dokie, so one change folks, Hamez has come off, we're going to put Kulisevsky through the middle and uh, Villa is going to be on the flank, as uh, well, Villa was just about to get rolling there, and uh, we'll see if Kulisevsky can just create a little bit more, there was nothing happening in that first half, it was poor, not a good pass there, Is it Ozil looking like he wants to defend, and yeah we're also going to play a little bit closer together, and wing rotation, so let's see if Arsenal get confused with us just literally mixing everything up here because if it's not working then, then there's no point keep playing it alright Klosterman we just need to keep possession work it forward Kulisevsky Badios towards Godfrey what's an Adoy alright go on Alan you might as well keep going mate and uh, we'll take that one that's alright Alan get up the line we want to whip it in Go on, Alan. Keep fighting. Keep fighting, Kung Fu style. Now, this is the chance for the Gunners with uh, Bellerin. Uh, well done, Godfrey. Got half a foot onto it. Pepe. Oh, it's a lovely pass. It's going to be Chambers. And it's a great save by Strakosha. I mean, Chambers not probably the best finisher in the world. If it had been someone else, could have been a different story. Oh, Shalov, look how slow he is, though. This is what gets on my nerves, is I'm having to fight. I don't know, this negative handicap where players just feel terrible. And I don't have anyone else up top. Well, I've got Marlon, but Marlon's not up for it either, so it'll be, it'll be kind of the same. If Shalov was on blue, then, oh, we're talking a different story here completely. Right, here's Chambers. Ozil. Chambers again. Ozil. It's a good play this by Arsenal. Pepe trying to work it through. Hector Bellerin. Has to go uh, all the way back to Urzil. Now, if we can steal it, we can steal it, but this is where we need movement. Kulisevsky. Ball over the top, looking for Calvert Lewin. That's where we, we. Our best bet right now is countering. Honestly, it's our best bet. We have to get play as quickly as we can and, and try and catch Arsenal on the break because I can't see us winning this match any other way. Alan. All right, here we go. Now, this is the chance. Kulisevsky's through the middle. What do we do? Do we do this alone? We are going to do it alone. Keeper makes the save. Comes back to Villa. And that will do, ref. Ref. Apparently, it was a good shoulder barge by Bamiang. But, yeah, Kulisevsky just has that ability where Hamez doesn't. Hamez hasn't got the legs. You know, we're not going to see that from him. So, that's why I've taken him off. And, of course, leave your suggestions in the comments for any transfers that we're going to make. Right, now this is where the problems happen as the ball's fed out wide towards Pepe. Still twisting. And we just know uh, what's happened there, ref. What's happened there, ref? Yeah, it's becoming tough, isn't it? It's becoming... Uh, it's just the, it's the, it's the annoyances of just... That should have been cleared. And I'm going to show you right now where this should have gone. I thought, I'd, I thought I'd survive this bit of an onslaught, but the ball came over here and this challenge with the two players coming across to Bellerin. Right, right there, we have the ball. And then, uh, what's happened there? Look, he's fouled me, ref. Here we go, prime example of Bellerin. Look at his back foot. He's clipped my back foot, he's caught me. The referee said, play on. And then Lacazette with an easy finish so yeah thank you ref it was a foul you're a joke Saka yeah Klosterman should be stronger than uh, Saka so thank you very much for uh, actually making that the case all right here we go Kulisevsky shallow peel away Calvert Lewin wants it that's a lovely pass Calvi Calvi Kulisevsky oh jeez Louise hope you guys enjoyed that little singing spree for you but uh, Balios couldn't find him. Towards Villa. Back inside. Balios once more. Allen. 
Gonna need some support, lads. We're not playing deep defensive line now. We've given up with that. It's not even worth it at this point. Here's Barrios. But now look, Arsenal sitting back. Villa. Nice play, Villa. Beautifully done. And yeah, we may make some changes now up top. I think we'll bring on Marlon and uh, see what he can do. So the first change, Marlon is coming on and Shalov makes way. Well, I guess we have a go from here. 30 metres out. Um, it's going to be Kulisevsky anyway, so we might as well see what Kulisevsky can do. And it will cause a yeah, relatively comfortable save for Javi Diaz. Yeah, if we lose today, folks, we could uh, possibly push down into... Oh, Alan's completely missed the ball there. What on earth are you doing, Alan? And uh, here is Hector Bellerin. Lays it back to Lacazette. Lacazette has had so many chances today. Could have had a hat-trick, to be honest. Just amazing how easy it is for the AI to get in behind. And we, we just can't get in behind anywhere. Absolute struggle. All right, Marlon. Come on, Villa, keep going. Right, who's in there? Who's in there? Well, there are players in there. Oh, what an... What... What happened there? No idea what happened there between those two players. Here was Tierney. Oh, well done, Klosterman. Ding that one over the top. Marlon lays it across, and Calvert Lewin should have scored. And oh, you, 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 you shoot the ball. Shoot it. Oh my goodness me, Colors. So it's so slow. Players just goodness should have scored that. Just don't want to do anything right now. Oh, we feel like we're in the 95th minute. We've still got 20 minutes left. Arsenal now switching off. Kulisevsky. Via. Marlon. Calvert-Lewin. It's not a bad little ball. Reverse ball towards hudson Adoy, And he's too busy tripping over his own legs. Well, Alan is looking tired now. His age is catching up to him. So Kamavinga comes on. All right, 20 minutes left. We've, we've had a couple more chances this half. I think this just goes to show you that James Rodriguez is, is just not going to... Uh, he's not going to cut it for us, to be honest. He's not offering me enough. The referee's played on there. Uh, is Villa going to get to that? Yes, he is. All right, come on, lads. Just possess. We get a chance. We put it away. Lovely jubbly. Kulisevsky. Calvert-Lewin. Oh, looking for hudson Adoy, But this is more like it. A little bit of a... A bit of a spree from us. This is when we have to score. Because if we don't score now, there's going to be a problem. Yes! Come on, Hadzi! Woo! I'll tell you what, these matches are more interesting, folks. I think you'll have to agree. It just makes me more switched on, you know, when I'm actually playing against the team that aren't just going to sit back and let you do whatever you want to do. But Arsenal under the cosh. Cleared away by the goalie. It's a great bit of play here by who that was. Holgate. And then brilliant play by hudson Adoy, Convincing finish with the left peg. Here it is again for you. Well, there's the clearance. Went all the way up in the air. It's a great touch on it. It was Godfrey, not Holgate. Godfrey, Calvert-Lewin picking up an assist, by the way. Great ball up the line. And then hudson Adoy from that kind of an angle, he's taken it sublimely well. And that's why manual finishing, when you get it right, oof, you get it right. You got Via. What have you got, son? Yeah, see, the players like Via. I love players like Via. I think they're known as agility kings. I don't know if they are or not. Here we go. This is the chance. Marlon over the top. Oh. Arsenal are looking shaky now. It's almost like we've worn Arsenal down. And they went all guns blazing. And now all of a sudden, we're creating chances. Kulisevsky finish it off. Kulu. Oh. What a chance. And that man knows it. I, I, I just, I'm trying to get the shot off, and it was just like, right here, look. Couldn't get it. Players ricocheting everywhere. And then he's just, I should have gone the other far, uh, the other post. I mean, I do like these length matches. Yeah, they're very long. Uh, you know, it's a good 20 minutes, but I really think in pairs you need to play that way. Great play, Tar. Look at Calvert-Lewin now, though. He wants the ball over the top. He's begging for it. Can he win the header? He can. He flicks it on the Marlon. Oh! We're creating some lovely stuff, folks. We just can't put it in. I've got to whip out the arrow again. But this is just route one. Calvert-Lewin winning it in the air. Marlon was there and... Oh, it wasn't far away. Well, the beginning of the half was, you know, Arsenal dominating. And I think they've just worn themselves out. 
And it would be nice if that did happen, that the AI did actually get tired um, and stamina came into the play, because then you could be like, well, if you want to go gung-ho against us for the first hour, go for it. Then after the hour mark, we can start creating and we can try and grind you down. Go on, Via. Go on, son. Yeah, Via, always love him with the feet. I've got to play Via more as well. Barrios, Camavinga. Yeah, we're just dictating this game now, working the ball around nicely. Hudson Adoy, look at the feet of him. Brilliantly well done there. Kamavinga. We're going to feed that into Kulisevsky. No, 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 no. Ooh, I thought that was the wrong player there, but we still have it. Barrios. Villa touches it off. And Villa continues the run. All right, let's whip this in. We've got a chance to do it. Ref will take the foul then. Nothing. And now Bamiyang's got a lot of space. Uh-oh, watch the run through the middle, please. I'm not even going to worry about Bamiyang right now. I'm more concerned about the players in the middle. The Bamiyang is just still going. Still going. Big deflection. And that'll do nicely. That's where you just have to be smart against the, the AI. Because they'll do things like that. They'll run off. All right, Marlon. Is he on side? <sighs> Don't know why you would do that, Marlon. There's a Bamiyang. And well done, uh, Klosterman. That'll do. All right, lads. Come on now. Let's not switch off. Not a great pass there by Bamiyang, but it has fallen back towards it. He'll want to whip this in when he can. Klosterman, how have you missed that, mate? Don't miss it there. He does deliver it in. Kulisevsky's half asleep. And now we've given him a corner. All right, focus, lads, focused. Urzil to take the short one. hudson Adoy is absolutely cream crackered. Delivered in, cleared away. Calvert-Lewin still working for it, though. The ball is swung around the other way. Godfrey, don't don't come out of position. Oh, get up. Nothing wrong with it. Cleared away into the stands. <laughs> We've got no subs, folks, as well, so we can't do anything right now. Uh, as Harrison is coming on for a tired Aubameyang. I remember when I used to call him Aubameyang. It was quite funny. Everyone used to slag me off for that. But I was like, I don't know. He's a new player at the time. Anyway, here's a chance for Pepe. Delivers it in. Comfortable for Strakosha. He may actually have a chance to break it. Via. Marlon. Oh, that's not the ball I wanted. Although Hudson the door is going to get there. Barrios through the middle. Come, come on. I oh, can't believe this. Come on. Do the business. Yes. <laughs> Galve. <laughs> Straight over to the missus. Well, if that's his wife, well, I'm lucky, but. Oh my goodness me, folks. The best game you'll see on Legend yet. Ever. Oh, what a game. Uh, is is Calvert Lewin making out there? It's all a little bit R rated, but have a look at this play. Hudson Adoy wanted it. And this pass from Balios is exceptional. And what about this finish? We took our time and bomb. Oh! Absolutely world class. Beautiful stuff. There's the ball. Calvert Lewin's away. Look at him. Look at the composure. He's, I saw the goalie coming out initially. I thought, okay, this goalie is very attacking, but that. Oh. <laughs> no words. I'm loving it. And look at the old Lucas A bottle. We're he. So is that gonna be the full-time whistle? Yes, it is. That's got, honestly, that's probably one of the biggest highlights for me this Master League. Number one, we're on legend. Number two, we're a goal down. And number three, ah, uh, just uh, brilliant. The goals we scored were actually exceptional. I mean, they really were nicely taken. So the second half, folks, we completely turned it around. We had two attempts in the first half, 11 in the second. There's are the stats for you. And that is what I want. That is more like it. Far more enjoyable. Man of the match, Calvert-Lewin with a goal and an assist. So the other results for you folks, oh, I'm absolutely buzzing after that. Oh my, there's, there's no better feeling than scoring in the last minute. Mental. All right, Wolves drawn against Man United. They dropped more points, although saying that we lost to Wolves. Uh, Leicester 3, West Ham 0, Tottenham 1, Bournemouth 0, Leeds 2, Huddersfield Town 0, Sheffield United drawn against Watford, Brighton beat Newcastle, Man City beat Crystal Palace, Chelsea beat Liverpool, that helps us out, and Southampton won, Burnley won. So we remain top... Five points clear of Liverpool, but we're only two points ahead of Man City. Arsenal remain seventh now. Chelsea fifth. Man United still 15th place, but they're having a nightmare. Bournemouth, bottom of the table. 
All right, folks. Well, I don't know if any match is going to beat that one. Uh, I really don't think any match is going to beat that. That was insane. Uh, but hopefully the matches will continue to be that way. But that's what 20-minute matches can do for you, folks. Even if you're a goal down, you can try and fight to win it back. You know, looks like we're taking West Ham on shortly in the Emirates FA Cup. All right, so let's see what's going on. Club rankings. We are now ranked 21st for you. Uh, and there is winner of uh, the Best Asia Player Award. And that was the confirmation of David being injured with a, a bruised nipple, uh, as I said earlier. And there was Luigi's. El Tedesco Valente. So apparently Luigi now is not only flying, um, he's German. You know, his nationality has changed. I don't know how that's happened, but it has. All right. So, yeah, we don't need to worry about that because we need to fast forward the time. All right. So we're taking on Burnley. This is going to be the test, though, isn't it? How is Burnley going to play? Are they going to play like Barcelona or not? No idea, as uh, Arascata has won the uh, Best South American Player Award. I don't think anyone's too fussed about that. But anyway, let's go ahead and have a look and please give me some good players. Okay, uh, I mean, James is up for it today. I don't know how I'm going to fit James in the team, though, because he's just... He's not doing it for me, you know? All right, let's pick a lineup and we'll return. All right, folks, so this is the lineup. Now, I'm literally going to be playing players that are up for it. Now we're on Legend. I need every, every extra inch of oomph that I can get. So if any player is like that with the form, we're hey. And if they're like that, we're hey, hey, hey. All right, we don't want anyone like, you don't want it like that. You want it like that or that. Now, don't let anyone walk in while I'm doing that because they're wondering what I'm talking about. But I'm talking about form arrows, folks. So Strakosha's in goal. Mina, Tar, Klosterman. What with Burnley playing... Two up top. They've got a lot of height. And they're also going to probably play long balls. Mina's going to win the header. Tar's going to win the header. And then Klosterman can kind of tidy up with the pace. In the middle, we're going Barrios, Camavinga, and James. We're going to have to start James just because of the spirit. And also, he's on blue. So, please give me something today, James. Uh, and then Aaron's on the right. He comes back because he's... Number one, he's quite pacey. 84, 87. His defensive awareness is a lot better than, like, Kulisevsky. So, he's going to be defending better. Not as good attacking, but... This is the plan. We're going to bring on these lads later, try and do what we did against Arsenal, like Villa, even Kulisevsky, Allen could come on, Luigi. There's enough quality there. And then Shalov's on the left, and we're going to go for Calvert-Lewin, who scored a goal and an assist in the last game. And then Marlon will be uh, up top as well. My voice is... My throat's still killing me. I don't know what's wrong with it. <clears throat> Too much screaming. That's exactly what's wrong with it. Uh, but anyway, here we go. Let's dive into this. We are going to be at Turf Moor. For this match, so I hope you guys do enjoy it. That Arsenal game is mental, so I don't know if we're going to uh, we're going to be able to uh, beat that one. Now, do we want to go blue today, or do we want to go for this one? I have a feeling I want to go for the, the 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 white kit, and I want to see if the undershorts and that actually work properly. Anyway, we'll put up a graphic as well in game, showing you guys the top goal scorers as well. Every now and then, it's something that I made in Photoshop just to whack it in there. The top five goal scorers, so Calvert Lewin will get updated with what he's scored. And then we go from there. Anyway, hope you guys do enjoy it. Let's do it. So here we are, Turf Moor. And hopefully this one records without a problem. Never had that happen before to me, really. Not in PES 2021. Just the whole computer just went... Um, I mean, I do get this odd thing popping up on my webcam saying your computer may have performance issues because, you know, I'm trying to record numerous things at the same time, but... That's technology for you. Anyway, I'm still buzzing after that Arsenal game. It's an unbelievable match, and hopefully this is going to be uh, more of the same. We're playing as many on-form players as we possibly can, so that could help us out. Anyway, chance here for Calvert-Lewin. Come on, Calvi, keep going. Unlucky as uh, Wood picks it up. Now, we know Burnley are going to look for those long balls. They're going to look for them. They love to play them. That's a lovely pass out wide towards O'Neill, and luckily... Kosha got his big palms in the way. Don't want to be conceding after two minutes. No, 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 no. All right, Marlon. Hamez back to... Sorry, Aaron's not Marlon. Marlon on the brain. Camavinga. We may even alternate in the second half as well. Put Shalov up top. Marlon can play out wide. I mean, it's a bit of mix and matching. We are playing wing rotation as well. Well done, Camavinga. You did well. And then Shalov ran off. Here is Flanagan. Is that a good ball? No, it's not. Oh, it nearly wasn't. Brownhill. Starts again with Taylor. There's the balls. Go on, Barrios. Brownhill. 
towards Taylor for that long ball over the top I'm worried now things aren't going to be recording I keep looking at everything to make sure everything's recording ref come on I, mean, I don't know if this gameplay mod maybe you get more fouls you know but some of them are debate I mean there was a bit of an elbow there but an elbow to the schnoz there's a chance here for McNeil he's going to launch it towards the back post and I think gets it away nothing wrong with that one there as uh, Cork picks it up Kuto delivers it in can we get it away boys yes we can Calvert-Lewin with a lovely touch just play on them ref do you know what I mean we've already got the ball just play on now I'm going to play James Rodriguez as a counter target I'm, I'm going to see oh here we go chance Oof. I'm going to see if that helps because I just don't think he's needed there at the back he's not the type of player that even needs to get back if anything I just want him to pick the ball up as uh, players are running off pick the ball up in the middle and just just create work it around all right, mean it. Shalov. Kamavinga's gone up the line. All right, Calvert-Lewin. Go on, make some runs. Give you the ball if you're there. Raf, we will take that one. Uh, and we're going to have a go from here. There's enough. There's enough is enough. We're going to have a go. Long Ranger. Yeah, studs were showing. Just clipped. Clipped the old ankle. So we are, uh, what, 30 metres out. Let's try and confuse the wall. No, I don't like the look of that wall. What about this wall? It's about the same, really, isn't it? Rodriguez needs to go away. No, he doesn't want to go away. All right, here we go. Here we go. It's going to be the Colombian. It's Hammers. Oh, it's a great save. And Calvert-Lewin can put it in. I mean, I have got the goalies pretty much the strongest they can be. I don't know if that's a wise decision, thinking about it, because, as you can see, the goalies are pretty good. So, yeah, we'll, we'll think about that. I mean, it's, it's the same for both teams. So, Camavinga. All right, this is where we just bide our time. Barrios. Ahrens. Which way are you going, Ahrens? Let's just start that again with Barrios. Got some uh, movement in here with Camavinga, who flicks it on. Calvert-Lewin towards Hammers. Nice little move there, lads. Barrios doing well. Is he offside? Yes, he is. Yes, he is that inside to Tar, but this is you know I like Burnley playing like this just because that, that's more like Burnley if, if Burnley were playing like Arsenal then it's like well that's the annoyance isn't it like I want the AI to play well when they get the ball but like they don't need to be pressing you all the time otherwise there's no what's the word randomness you know everything's the same I don't want everything the same I do want the consistency to be better don't get me wrong but when it comes to teams facing you no, absolutely. Have a little bit of uh, randomness. Here is Brownhill. Rodriguez looking to swing it round. We're going to nod that on back to Strakosha. Not take a risk there. And away we go again. I'm actually going to play more attacking though because... Why not? We're Everton. We're, we're trying to win the league this season. So we've got to create as much as we can. Shalov. Go on, Shalov. Still going. No, run straight into his man. That was a disaster for him. Although Burnley have given it back to us and Barrios has used his strength well. Ball up the line towards Aarons. Has he got the legs? Go on, Aarons. Stick your foot in. Back towards me. Great name. I wonder how confusing it would be to have a last name called me. I'm sure a lot of people just shout out, me! And then you think, what, me? No, no, him. Who? Me. Me, 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 more. A little bit like Austin Powers. Barrios, different class again. I'm starting to like Barrios more, though. Here we go, Calvert-Lewin, Hammers, Aarons, Marlon, oh, Hammers again. That's all a little bit congregated, isn't it? And it's just hard work. But at least we're pressing them, trying to close them down. Here is Wood, and that's going to be comfortable for Mina. Ta, Camavinga, ah, not the pass we were looking for. And now a chance for Limnois. You're just going to get a lot more action happening, guys and girls, with the longer matches and legends. That's 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 the way it's going to work. Reeling Rodriguez with a nice turn. If we can steal this here, we got a chance. We have got a chance. Although Hammers is too slow on the ball, and now we've got a little bit of an issue. Is he going to strike it? Yes, he is. Strakosha's done well. It's a good goalie, Strakosha. I'm glad I picked him up. I mean, Olsen was doing a you know a decent job, but at the end of the day. I think we always needed, uh, you know, a little bit more. All right, Camavinga, go on, uh, Shalov, keep going. 
All right, now Kamavinga, you keep going. We'll just play uh, the old one-twos all the way up the line. Nicely done. Now Kamavinga delivers in a delicious boom, Marley! I mean, that is a great feeling. When you can score a goal like that with no assists, it can be done, folks. If I can do it, you guys can do it. Trust me. And yes, that was a lovely L1 for the cross. But Shalov and Kamavinga here just taking the time. Patient play. What about this for a ball in? He's absolutely immaculate. And that header isn't bad either. Ooh. Beautiful. And we're actually going to go to... Uh, I'm going to give you a good perception here of, of Marlon's, uh, Marlon's vision. So this is what he's seeing from his point of view. You can see there, Shalov playing around with it. Marlon's thinking, this is what Martial should be doing for Man United. He's on the last man, and now he's calling for it. He wants it. Kamavinga gets his head up. The ball's back post. There it is. Up he gets, and it's just a beautiful goal. Marlon's back, folks. Marlon's back. Shalov. Towards Hamez. Tar inside to Kamavinga. All right, what options do we have, lads? Well, Barrios is all on his own. Find Aarons. Give it back to Barrios. And Aarons, you make the run forward. Now, Barrios, you give it to Hamid. So we're going to swing this round here to Shalov. And fall to the turf. And win ourselves a foul. Lovely jubbly. If in doubt, milk it out. Here it is. Look at that. Skip past him. Just a little bit of a clothesline. Didn't get the ball. Just got the man. Dirty. All right, well, last time, this is literally the same exact position. Uh, last time it was close. This time I think we're going to need... I don't know how much bend on this. Probably a lot more. Let's see what Hamis can do! Oh! It's an absolute beauty by the Colombian. Luigi says get in. And it's number two for the night or the day, whatever time we're playing at. But yeah, this is a peach. Look at that. Right into the corner. Well, we might as well get this ball up the line then. Shalov's not there. Starts again with Kuto. Now, this is the hardest part, though. When you're 2-0 up, and the game will sometimes do a little bit of a disadvantage against you, which they will. This is where you've got to try not to concede. Hold on. And, and honestly, this is why in pairs you always need a big, tall centre-back. You need him. He needs to be in your lineup because he's going to make the difference when it comes to winning those headers from the obscene amount of crosses that the AR like to produce. And if you've got someone like Mina or Sula or Van Dyke at the back, it's going to make your job a lot easier as uh, the keepers with some uh, crazy saving. I don't know why I did that with Hamez. That was an absolute waste. Brownhill. Barrios looking to close down. Limnois. Kuto. And Shalov, stay with him. Don't let him whip it in. Does whip it in, but Kamavinga clears it away. Hamez up the line. That's actually a good ball, you know. Calvert-Lewin. Shalov. I'll tell you what. Marlon wants it through the middle. And it's a lovely ball. Nearly found him. And you know what? I'm going to let that roll out. Because why not take a corner? Get Mina up there. And see what we can do here. Do we want to go for the dash? I think we're just going to go high towards the back post. Here we go. Towards Mina. Let's nod that one back on the edge of the box. Line up a shot for Kamavingi, and he's cleared it away. Hamez with a go, it's gone <laughs> well, well wide. You, you, you guys didn't see that. And uh, there's half time as we lead by two goals to nil. Just got to keep it going, boys. Right, Marlon, is he going to win it? Yes, he is. Well, yeah, we're taking off counter target now. We'll let Hamez do a little bit more running, try and get involved, and then take him off later on. Here is McNeil up against Aarons. I mean, having Aarons on the wing is uh, is nice sometimes just because his defensive abilities are better uh, than the likes of someone like Kulisevsky. McNeil's cutting inside here, doing well. Taylor, a lot of time to line this one up. And here comes Barrios once again, always hounding it. Taylor just needs to deliver it. Didn't want to do it, but the referee wants to give you a foul because you're very generous. There is a lot of fouls of this. It seems like any gameplay mod you use there's a lot of fouls I think it's the collisions just they don't register that well I mean once again it's kind of an arm in the face though so really it is a foul it's going to be McNeil to deliver it he's gone near post Mr. Kosha I don't know what that was a little bit of a, a, little bit of a head bob <laughs> interesting move by the goalie 
So we're going to make the first change. David's going to come on uh, and he's going to replace the Colombian of Hamis. So we've crossed the hour mark. We haven't seen too much of Burnley this game. Marlon, oh look at the switch. The switch is on, boys. Looking for David. Does manage to flick it on. Shalov's there. Now players are queuing up in the box. Question is, how's the delivery? David was there. Burnley still just about. Oh, it's a penalty. He's offside apparently as uh, yeah Shalov was look at that halfway in the air when the uh, the flag went up but right now yeah Burnley just sort of running out of ideas not a lot going on with them and we're fine with this I mean of course I'm happy with this 2-0 up away from home not going to complain about it as long as we keep the shape I think Badios is helping me out a lot recently him having you know that anchor man the ability to just sit in front of the back line oh ball's fired in Mina well done Badios again he's there Comes back to Cork. All of a sudden now, a bit of, bit of Burnley magic coming through. Here is Cork. Looks to find uh, Jan Kuto. Hold him up. Once again delivered in. David should get there. Ball's flicked away. Oh, we've got a chance. Let's just swing this all the way around to... Uh, oh, Calvert-Lewin stolen it! Now, what have we got for a finish? I'm just going to go over here then. Uh, walk around the goalie and we've hit the post. How do we miss that? I've, I've no idea when the goalie comes out like that literally just walk round him but I don't I don't even know how that uh, possibly happened as Shalov has a go from distance why didn't I just use the arrow would have been 3-0 job done wouldn't it uh, but great play by Calvert-Lewin he literally did it all himself and here's Taylor now and that's going to be comfortable keepers keepers come on Strakosha I shouldn't have to ask you to come out smashing triangle all right, boys, come on. You've controlled the game for most of, uh, most of the match. Kamavinga. Badios. Space through there. Look at David wants it. David's going to find him. Once again, now looking for Calvert-Lewin. Back towards Shalov. But we did score a nice goal. Was very happy with that Marlon goal. A free kick's a free kick. Yeah, you want to put them away when you can. But the Marlon goal was, was well taken. Right, Fosterman's there. Aaron's flicks it on. We will make some more changes in a minute. But I don't know. The boys just feel much better today. You know, they... I can actually play football how I want to play it. Uh, I wanted to give and go. Didn't work. Zahavi. Wood. Oh, we've left some big, big, massive gaping hole. McNeil with a chance. And that one is a poor one. So we're going to bring on uh, Luigi and Villa as Shalov and Marlins replaced. If I get a foul and it's not a foul, then the AI get a foul that's not a foul. I told you, it's all arm stuff. Anything where your arm's related now in this game, a foul's been given. I don't know what Konami did to the last data pack, but they clearly did something. There is a chance here for Brady, who's going to have an attempt. And that's comfortable for Strakosha. But yeah, they definitely messed something up, which I don't know why they why, why, why do it, you know leave the game alone I think most people enjoyed data pack 3 it was fine All right, here's Marlon Luigi flicks that mm, try to flick it over the top Brownhill challenged by Klosterman was a good one ball up the line David inside towards Luigi he's got the acceleration oh, that's a good challenge though Calvert-Lewin towards David Villa just lets it run past himself Still going, Via. Brilliant play, son. Absolutely world class. He's still going. He's still going. Oh, it's a good ball in. Calvert Lewin couldn't get the follow up. And I love Via. Via is such a good player on the ball with stuff you can do with him. I think it. I don't know if it, I think he has the agility. Is it agility king trait for the computer? I don't know. There's something about certain players that are just so much more fun to dribble with. Here he is now. We've seen Luigi on the other flank. And I'll tell you what, it's an absolutely enticing ball. Luigi lays it back. Oh, Villa was coming in. Final three minutes to play here. Wasterman's missed it. Aaron's picks it up. And we've been all over Burnley today. So many chances. It should have been more than 3-0. Or 2-0, sorry. Not even 3-0. Here's Brownhill now. Gets it out wide. Brady. We did play Aaron's for a full game today, so that was nice. Great stuff there. Luigi picks up the loose ball. And we could have a chance now for another goal. 
Via on your bike and Via is away right now. Composure, composure, composure. Finish it off. Nah, it was on his left foot. Bit of a shame. Uh, Calvert-Lewin, will he win it? No, he won't. But the referee blows for full time. So not quite the Arsenal game, but, you know, we face Burnley, who aren't exactly the most exciting team in the world. And I don't think they really had any chances. We'll have a look quickly just to see what was going on. Well, they had five attempts to our 13. Yeah, we, we, we definitely, definitely deserved it. Man of the match today was Marlon. Hammers had a good game and Camavinga as well. So there we have it, folks. Job done. So elsewhere, Man United smashing Arsenal. Four goals to nil. They finally waked up. West Ham nil. Wolves one. Burnley. Burnley. Bournemouth three. Leicester nil. Huddersfield Town nil. Tottenham one. Watford nil. Leeds nil. Newcastle one. Sheffield United nil. Crystal Palace one. Brighton one. Chelsea doing us a favour. Loving it. Two nil win. And Southampton also doing us a favour against Liverpool. So we're five points clear again. Up and down. Uh, Tottenham are up now into second, City third, Man United up to 14th, still miles off the pace. Uh, and then Bournemouth bottom, Huddersfield Town and Crystal Palace. So we've got a deadline day offer, but I'll show you guys real quickly. I didn't even cut the video. No, that's not right. That's saving. Just to show you, yes, we're still on legend difficulty. There we have it. And there we go. So we're going to return, folks, because we have got some good stuff to come. We've got the opening day of the transfer window. So leave your recommendations in the comments below. Uh, and then we're taking on Man United once again. Uh, and then FA Cup taking on West Ham. That's not going to be an easy game either. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy it. Let me know your thoughts below as always. But until next time, take care.